Today we're going to talk about a very important musical topic, conductor hair. One of the things that people watch, in addition to your back and butt and legs when you're conducting, is of course the conductor's hair. And there is a very, very long tradition, I would say almost a requirement, that you have what's called conductor hair. Conductor hair is a thing. And I say that it goes all the way back in history to when composers all wore powdered wigs. And just think about it for a second. If you think about what Mozart looked like in Amadeus or what Bach or Handel looked like, I mean, these wigs, if they were real hair, would be crazy. I mean, they look, they look completely insane. So the first composer, the first kind of contemporary composer uh, uh, to not wear a wig got his hairstyle, I think that he was kind of emulating the craziness of the previous wig wearers, and that was Ludwig van Beethoven. And ever since Beethoven had his kind of crazy hair, all conductors since then have been trying to get back to Beethoven. So if you look at some of the conductors that have, I think, the cool conductor hair, obviously the poster child of hair, Gustavo Dunamel. I, you know, the dude, he's got great hair. Simon Rattle, Simon Rattle, the progenitor of the, of the dude's haircut. Tilson Thomas has, has uh, great hair for sure. Then there's you know, classy hair like, like Tilson Thomas or Bernstein or, or Gustav Mahler. It's very classy, um, but it has a, you know, a good bounce to it when, when they conduct. Um, so that's pretty much the situation. Uh, so basically, I had uh, a breakup situation in 2011, and uh, like many young men, I guess I got breakup hair. And that, was very, very long hair. You could call it a mane of hair. And, and looking back on it, it was horrendous. But I'll tell you what happened. Uh, I was at the Detroit Symphony Orchestra as the assistant conductor, and I enjoyed the, the freedom of not having to schedule haircuts and, and uh, spend money on that. But apparently some of the members of the orchestra did not enjoy the, the freedom of having to look at my eyes and face. So they came up to me and they told me, this pretty consistently throughout the entire first season there, they wanted me to change my haircut. And finally, I just gave in, I said, look, if you take me to a hairstylist and you tell them what you want, then I'll just go and get whatever haircut you, you ask for. So they did. They took me to a hairstylist and showed the, the haircutter a, a picture of Justin Timberlake and said, do it like this, and this is what happened.